Hi everyone, it is time for our very last fish in our Lost Ocean title page series. Um, the idea of this is to colour, I'm showing you how to do five fish and they repeat around the circle on this title page. So you should be able to follow through the videos and just colour all the fish if you want to in the same sort of colour, which I think is fun. Um, this last one I have decided to do in purple. Now in the 36 set of Ergosoft we get two purples, we get the 6 and the 62. If you've only got the 24 you only get one purple, I think it's the 6. So what I might be tempted to do if I was you was to use the 6 and the 33 which is the very darkest blue. So rather than use this one as your lightest, sorry blurred, use that one as your lightest rather than that one. Or you could combine it with the um, pink like this, which is number 61. Or you could just use one pencil and use alternating pressure to uh, to get different shades. That can be a little bit tricky, but it might be something you want to try. Now I'm going to start, as I did with this one, with the fins and the tail. This With the darkest pencil, which is number 6. And I'm going to use the same method. So up against the body, nice and dark, lots of layers, and then less as we come down towards the edge of the fin. Sounding a bit hoarse. This is the I'm recording all these videos in one go. Um, it's because they're short. I can do that, and I think it it makes them a little. I don't normally manage to do that because this is a smallish page. Um, I can. But it means I'm beginning to run out of voice already. I need a cup of tea, really, which I will get. Um, I did have a cup of tea just before I recorded this, but I will get a drink, probably a coffee, actually. Something a bit different. It might be lunchtime. Yay! <laughs> I've got some really nice um, bread to toast. Uh, so I'm doing the same thing. Darker layer here. And on this one, we'll have the darker layer against the body. I know on um, this one up here, the pink one that you can't see, um, we changed the tail slightly, but it was because of the way it was drawn. This one, um, for me, looks like it wants to be faded like most of the others. I like that. I'm just going to add in a bit more colour to darken it up. Um, now we've got a pattern on the fish, um, I think what I'm going to do actually is go to the light one, the 62, do the body over like we did with the pink one. We went over the whole body with the lighter one first, I think I'll do that, I think it will just make it a little bit easier for me. Also, um, what I was thinking was that because I'm going to be using the same purple for the detailing on the body as I've used on the fins, if I if it's got some of this lighter colour underneath it won't look quite as vibrant as these which I think will be good because it, we might be able to even pretend that it's a different colour because obviously we've only got the two purples. If you're working with a different set of pencils you might have a a mid purple in between your light and your dark that you could use which um, could be handy but uh, we're a bit more limited with this set which sometimes is brilliant having a huge choice of colours can sometimes be extremely overwhelming sometimes I've got a tin of 12 um, poly colour by Corrie Knorr and I really like them and sometimes if I'm just in the mood for not making choices I get grab those and uh, it's just a nice they've got a good range just a couple of browns a couple of greens a couple of blues a pink purple yellow orange red black so it's got enough in there without it being too daunting and obviously oh I was a funny shadow went across the desk then because I've only got the blind half pulled up and uh, it was a mayfly flying past the window. Okay, so I've done the body and you can see I've tried to add shape by making it darker around the edge. 
and now we've got these details to do. I'm actually going to do these pieces here in this pencil, but I'm going to layer it up to try and make it look a bit darker. And I'm not shading this bit because oh, that mayfly is still flying around. It keeps catching my eye. And number six, it's like there's something flitting around in here, but there isn't. Now again, like I did with the pink fish, I'm going to follow the shading. So this bit's darker, that bit's lighter, darker to lighter. Oh, can I hear the blackbirds now? Actually, that's not blackbirds, a magpie. I don't know how well, you probably can't hear it. So what I'm doing is just making it darker here and a bit lighter. That one's very difficult, it's very small less up here just so you can see there's a different color being used but it still follows the convention of the shading which will help our fish to still look the right shape and that's him now we need to his eye we've got number 80 again now with the eyes we've been doing it um, dark either side and then white up and down. Now this fish is facing a different direction to our first one because we're working around the circle. What I want to make sure I do is the darkest parts at the mouth and tail bit that way through the fish and then make it slightly lighter. I missed completely didn't I? At the top and bottom. There we go. So that is all of our fish done, but tomorrow there will be one more video and we'll do this um, central part, so there'll just be that one to go. So until then, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you tune in tomorrow. Um, you can um, obviously colour all your fish now if you want to. Um, I probably won't be doing that immediately, but I will have a finished picture to show you at some point, but it won't be um today <laughs> so thank you for watching um enjoy the rest of your day and happy coloring <laughs>